I think I hate my girlfriend. Sometimes I am scared that I hate my girlfriend. We've been dating for 2.5 years now. She gives me a lot of love. She's nice to me. Gets me gifts. Cooks for me. All the things a good girlfriend should do. But she's really manipulative and openly admits that she manipulates me so that I'm nice to her and this pisses me off. Once she went through my entire phone she gets sad if I sit too close to my sister she hates some of my friends, and the people I don't like she makes it a point to praise and compliment them? It's clear that she can be a toxic person. And sometimes her morals are just bad. And it makes me unattracted to her. She had sex with he ex's biggest enemy, to get revenge she still defends it to this day and while I don't care about her past, the moral foundation of something like that upsets me. What if she does that to me next? It makes me scared to end things with her which I think was probably her plan. This is also my first girlfriend. She's 10 out of 10 model looking girl and I'm physically attracted to her and sometimes I'm worried I won't find someone who's this attractive and is also this nice to me. She is insanely good with my family. She puts on a front and gets on with them so well too and that is really important to me. I know a lot of the comments will say, run, or break up, which is fair but I'd appreciate any advice on how to fix this rather than just give up. Unless it's too late. You can't fix her. She can only fix herself and doesn't seem like she wants to if she's well aware of how she is. Sounds like she's a bad person but you like banging her, okay? You can't fix another person, dude. You just can't. You need to gather up your self-respect and find someone worthy of your time. What do you think fixing this would look like? You can't give someone a personality transplant. The only real way you can stay and not be in the same exact situation is if you make peace with the basic fact that she's not a good person, and she's extremely likely to take that out on you sooner or later. And that people will probably believe her side, if all they have is the fronting to go by. If you don't run, keep evidence of her openly admitting to manipulative shit. Unless y'all grow old together like the couple in Titanic, and maybe even then. You're going to need it later. It says a lot that she's dumb or arrogant enough to openly admit to you what and who she is. Maybe that's a manipulation of its own, but you'd think someone like this would have learned a long time ago that nobody will ever truly trust them again after knowing that. Makes me wonder if she's actually as good at this as she thinks. Or, worse if she is as good as she thinks, instead of just being an immature girl who thinks it's Svengali mastermind shit to alternate between dangling carrots and poking sticks at people to get what she wants, then. What was her goal in telling you that? Break up already. Jesus Christ. Yo, dude, let me tell you this straight up I feel for you, man. This is some messed up stuff that your girl is putting you through. But here's the thing, you gotta listen to me, alright? You need to ditch this girl, ASAP. Yeah, yeah, she might be nice to you and all, but is it really worth it if she's manipulating you? And come on, man, it's not like she's hiding it, she's openly admitting it. That's a major red flag, bro. You can't let her get away with that. And who the hell goes through your phone? That's messed up, dude. And what's up with her hating on your sister and friends? That's just not cool, man. You gotta be with someone who can respect the relationships you have with other people, you feel me? And let's not even get started on her morals. It's one thing to have a past, but doing something like sleeping with an ex's enemy just for revenge? That's not the kind of person you wanna be with, dude. And what if she does that to you next? You gotta think about that, man. I get that she's a total 10 out of 10, but you can't let that be the only reason you're with her. You gotta think about your own happiness, dude. And trust me, there are other fish in the sea. You'll find someone who's attractive and treats you right. As for fixing things, I don't think there's much you can do. You've tried talking to her, right? And she's still acting like this? You gotta cut your losses, man. It's not worth it. Sorry if I came off harsh, but I just don't want you to be stuck in a toxic relationship, you know? You deserve better, dude. A shitty personality makes someone ugly. You sound pretty shallow yourself bud. She gives me a lot of love. She's nice to me. Gets me gifts. Cooks for me. All the things a good girlfriend should do. I didn't read past that. She is toxic. If you think you hate her enough to post about it, 
then you don't just think you hate her. It's incredibly rare for manipulative or narcissistic people to get help. It probably won't go well. Get out of that relationship like a shoe with a spider in it dude. Manipulative so's are bad bad news. If she has a front with the public but acts differently at home it's pretty fucking clear she isn't normal. She's not going to change. This is who she is. So you have to decide if you can live with that. Being good looking isn't enough looks fade. Personality is forever. Take her looks off the table. How do you feel about her? Honestly, there is no fix for her. She would have to want to change but it doesn't sound like she does. She knows she is manipulative and it gets her what she wants. You can try fixing this by giving her a consensual lobotomy, I suppose, but failing that I would break up. She sounds nuts. I'm currently dating you in 13 years. The 10 out of 10 IDK if I can ever find someone like her, especially, is something I've heard him say, in therapy. Therapy we, he has to attend because she destroyed his self-esteem, every shred of trust in women he had and every quality relationships he built prior to meeting her. Mocking him BC he was close to his mom, being upset by his relationship with his sister, presenting like a great GF in front of his friends so whenever he tried to reach out, they would call him dramatic or oversensitive BC she couldn't possible be this bad. So I know you want to mend things with her and it's a better reflex than leaving at the first hiccup, but don't let yourself get destroyed because you believe you are unable to find someone else who looks good and treat you with respect. Do future you a solid and leave. You deserve better and I promise you, she's not the hottest girl you'll ever date. Don't fix a relationship in which you hate your GF. For what? Why do people constantly choose the harder option? She will not change. Do not stay in toxic relationships. You can leave anytime you can't fix it if she doesn't see it as a problem and why would she see it as a problem if it gets her what she wants if you can't find anyone as nice as someone who openly admits to manipulate you for their own gain being single and taking the time to work on yourself is honestly a better option so she's pretty and does nice things for you occasionally but she's toxic and manipulative that's not a cute quirk that can be solved with a heart to heart chat that's a glaring character flaw She's proud of exacting revenge on an ex. Don't you want someone who makes you feel emotionally safe and is physically attractive? Those things are not mutually exclusive. There are attractive and morally upstanding people out there lol. Beauty fades with time. All that glitters is not gold. She may be hot but her personality sucks. Think long and hard if you can accept that and be truly happy. I think you know the answer here. I would not suggest to break up. I would suggest to call her out on her behavior. Talk to her. Tell her that her manipulations are ruining your relationship and it has to stop. I would be as direct as possible with all the concerns you have. Did she tell you about her enemy with the intention you think? If not what exactly was her intention? Ask if she is jealous about your sister and friends and wants to limit your time with them. Explain her that a romantic relationship is very different from friendship and family and you are not okay with losing these people because of her. Tell her that you feel she is trying to make you her toy without any social life outside of your relationship and it makes you unhappy. Call her out every time she tries to manipulate you. See how it goes. She might be doing it because she is very insecure and reassurance of your feelings to her could fix it. Why are you with her? Seriously? She's terrible for you, but you are the one putting up with it. Why? You're making the decision based on a fear that this is the only hot girl who would be nice to you and cook for you. Fear-based decisions rarely work in life. If you could be guaranteed that you could get a gorgeous woman who is great with your family and is a good cook, would you leave your girl now? If not I'd say deal with the person she is. If you would then I think you have your answer. It's clear that she can be a toxic person. And sometimes her morals are just bad. I'd appreciate any advice on how to fix this, you can't fix this. She would need to be the one posting asking for help to be a better person. There is only one person in the world you can work to improve, and that's you. She's 10 out of 10 model looking girl. Quite possibly her plan is to go through life on her looks with a terrible personality. She would not be the first or last.
Your decision is if you want a trophy partner or a real partner in life. You can't fix her. She has to decide that for herself and it doesn't sound like she even cares at this point. You make a choice based on the information you have my friend. Fix it? Dude, you're dating her for her looks. Her personality is terrible. You can't fix her personality. You're so young. I mean, really what are you doing here wasting your time? Break up. You can't fix a snake. But if you're afraid she'll sleep with your friends to get revenge on you too. You're 100% correct to be afraid because chances are she will if she's that type of person. You don't have to date someone who goes against your moral compass or ethics. Do what you think is best for you now before it's too late. If you hate your GF, break up with her. It sounds like you are keeping her around in case you don't find anyone else as attractive. You sound fairly shallow. You can't fix her morals but you can set boundaries. Like about sitting close to her sister honestly she is young, she might change for the better or worse you will find out and eventually you'll also realize it's not about looks. At your age it is high on the list of desirable qualities. She's not nice to you. She's putting an act of being nice in order to manipulate you and get things from you. She'll stop being nice altogether at all when she feels she has you trapped and with your self-esteem so reduced to pieces that you will feel that you're unable to leave. And yes, of course, she's nice to your family. That's part of her act. She's trying to destroy your support network. When she has you trapped and you want to leave and you ask your family for support for helping you leave her, the will say, but why do you want to leave such a nice woman? thus further trapping you. Her looks are not worth destroying your life, your happiness and your mental health for. Break up. Find someone who is actually nice to you. In general you can't fix another person, but as long as you have leverage, you can train them a bit. Whenever she does some manipulative bullshit, call her out on it. Tell her that it's not okay and you will not tolerate it. She goes through your phone? Tell her off, be serious and make sure she understands that it's a breach of trust and not okay. She gets sad for bullshit reasons? Let her be. Don't offer any sympathy. Don't allow her any luxury or special treatment. She talks good about people you hate? Well, that actually isn't so horrible. But ask her whose team she really is on. Ask her why she is doing it, in the moment. If you out up a strong front that shuts down all attempts of abuse, she will quickly learn that you won't be pushed over. Now, this whole thing only works if you have leverage, so that your threats aren't empty. That leverage is leaving the relationship. And dude, if you can't fulfill the threat, just even once. The threat is forever worthless now. Pretty much sums it up. Beautiful on the outside, ugly on the inside. Even someone who isn't, gasps in horror. A 10 out of 10 model looking girl. B, 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 but, she's hot weary. Okay, uh, so you're worried about not being able to find a nice hot woman if you break up with this not nice hot woman. Sounds like you care less about finding a good partner and more concerned about having a trophy wife to bang and show off. Come on, dude. Get your priorities straight. Dude, I like your style so much. 10 out of 10 advice, 10 out of 10 execution final verdict. Good shit. I wish men had more resources like you. Solid advice. Ultimate bro move. 10 out of 10. Honestly a very fair point. Appreciate the brutal truth. It actually makes me skeptical the GF is real. Well I feel like it's pretty established among all age groups that failing at a relationship means you're a loser, so this makes it infinitely harder to cut your losses and be single, because that is seen as something shameful. It shouldn't be, of course. Being trapped in a harmful relationship is a terrible thing we as a society have been putting up with since forever. I'm trying to do my best to look like a 10 out of 10 model looking boy. 